Let's answer a few questions and let's start a few questions. One, what is the CGI, the Common Gateway Interface? Well, it is the leading method used today to interact with a web server program. Now, there is also ASP for Microsoft, Mod Perl, and Cold Fusion uh, are a couple of other methods, but CGI is uh, far and away the most common method used uh, to get in between a, a server uh, and the client. As CGI is also uh, implemented on all of the, uh, the major web servers, Apache, IIS, anything that we're going to be using, certainly. So uh, it's there for us. What uh, CGI does is it implements what are called the post and the get methods. And we're going to see both of those as we go through here and how to, how to use each one. Basically, get is the default, is the get method, and that's what a, a browser normally uses when it makes a request to the uh, server asking for something. Post is the method used when your uh, program has to pass more data. The information should not be visible on the command line, on the address line, as it uh, goes into the web server, and you want more control over it. Basically, if you're going to change something in a database or you're going to make some modification based on the information coming into the program, you'll want to use POST. It just is able to carry more information. Now, what really happens here is this CGI causes a program or a script to be started by the web server. And then that program or script will, in our case a program, will receive its parameters through the standard in. All we have to be able to do is to listen to the standard in, we know how to do that, and be able to write to the standard out. And we know how to do that. So we have the skills that it takes to write a piece of CGI code. Now, CGI written in C is more maintenance intensive. Uh, it used to be the way things were, were always done. That's why the CGI-bin is still a, uh, a common place to put executables. Well, we're not going to do that because we're just going to be on our own little server here. We're not going to worry about CGI bin, but that's where you'll see uh, the vast majority of uh, CGI programs sit. And there was, once upon a time, there was CGI bin and CGI-SRC, CGI source, and that's where your C source would uh, reside before you compiled it into an executable. Now these days, folks like to write a lot of PHP and Perl and other kinds of scripts, and those scripts are, are loaded and uh, interpreted each time the request is made. In our case, our, our C is a little tougher to create, more maintenance intensive, but it creates a one-time compiled program. You still have some overhead in the web server of loading the executable and executing it each time uh, somebody comes in, but there's a caching and keep alive and a lot of other things that go on these days that uh, help with that. And primarily, of course, we want to look at uh, CGI and C because we are doing a, a series of C programming videos here, and I do want it to be more interesting for you. And, and what's more interesting than the inter Internet, really? AJAX is a, a common methodology coming up now in here in the uh, beginning of 2007, and it's been around since uh, 06, but it is uh, a just a way of doing things, and it actually combines a few different techniques together. In our case, it's uh, AJAX actually stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. When those items, JavaScript and XML, are combined, they still are using CGI. They're still using post and get methods. Uh, they just use a, a little different technique to get information back to the web server and then have the CGI program run on the web server and respond back to the client. The thing that AJAX g gives uh, people today is that the entire page doesn't have to be rewritten. When we first start doing our C programming, every time we call the program, we'll rewrite the page. And then we'll take a look at the end of this uh, sequence of videos that AJAX doesn't do that. 